This is my 1991 Washburn Nuno Betancourt Signature N2. This guitar has appeared in plenty of my videos, in fact it even has a dedicated one that I made back when I got it, I don't know, probably close to a year and a half ago at this point. And if we're judging what a favorite guitar is, just by which one gets played the most, then yes, this one, I guess, would be my favorite guitar. At least this is the one I reach for the most. It is definitely my weapon of choice, to the point where I've actually considered buying a second one from this era before we reach a point in time where you can't find one anymore. This thing has everything that I want in a metal shredder guitar like this. It's very light, it has a very compact and small body, they definitely downsized this from the regular like super strat shape, yet the sustain and acoustic resonance are still amazing. This tremolo is unexpectedly great considering that it's just a licensed Floyd Rose from 1991. The neck is incredible, blah blah blah, I've made an entire video about this thing, so if you want to watch that, go watch it. But one thing that has been bothering me recently are the pickups. Now I know that sounds weird, because this thing is packing a Bill Lawrence L500 in the bridge, the essence of Nuno Betancourt and Dimebag Darrell, an incredible pickup, and a Washburn brand humbucker in the neck, because this isn't the N4 that has Bill Lawrence in both positions, but that humbucker is still amazing, and I've never actually thought about switching it out just because of the sound. But something's been happening recently that's really bothering me, and it's the fact that this guitar has become slightly microphonic. Now, when I did some research about this, asked a few people who I thought might, you know, know their way around some old Bill Lawrence pickups, I was told that yes, this is kind of what old Bill Lawrence humbuckers are notorious for, that at some point they will malfunction and not die completely, but become kind of microphonic. And an easy way to fix this would just be to wax pot the pickups again, so take them out, dip them in a bunch of melted wax, you know, pull them out, let it dry, stick them back in. However, I don't have a wax heater, wax melter, or, you know, just a bunch of paraffin wax cubes lying around. So for the time being, I've thought of a different solution. I am going to desecrate probably one of the best condition examples of this guitar still out there. I mean, really, look at this. On all six tuning pegs, that is the protective plastic foil from 32 years ago, and it's still intact and on there with these things. Now these are pickups by a very small Polish pickup company named Vermilion. When I found Vermilion on Instagram probably about six months ago, I immediately had to shoot them a message and just let them know how cool I think their pickups look and I'm sure how cool they sound as well. And we made a deal in the form of me receiving a pair of these Sudetian winter pickups in these custom colors because I just wanted to go really f***ed up with it and I think these just look incredible. And I think the wood grain aesthetic is just gonna go great with this guitar because it's natural wood as well. One of the special things about these pickups is that they are scatter wound. They are wound in such a way that the coils are just a little bit farther apart from each other to give it more of an airy sound, but at the same time really punchy. And I'm just really excited to put these in the guitar, can you tell? Hi, you might be wondering why I'm standing here talking to you with the guitar strapped to me, and there's a very good reason for that. This guitar is plugged in, but where's this cable going? Cause, cause it's not, it's not going to the ground. Oh, oh no, it's going to my back. Because this video has been sponsored by Shaw, and I'd like to briefly show you their new GLX D Plus dual band wireless guitar system. The GLX D Plus is probably the most cool, easy to use, and advanced wireless unit for guitars out there at the moment. It comes with a sleek tuner pedal slash receiver that automatically scans 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz bands to look for the best and cleanest connection. And this here sleek body pack transmitter, which is USB-C rechargeable and gets more than 12 hours out of a single full charge, or an hour and a half if you forget to charge it 15 minutes before you're set. That's right, 15 minutes of charging will get you through most gigs. It comes with its own cable to attach the transmitter to your guitar, and the special thing about this cable is that it's screwed onto the transmitter, so, you know, no matter what you do to it, it's not just gonna fly out because it's not just a flimsy little jack connector. And I bet you're wondering, how does it connect? So let me walk you through that in excruciating detail detail. There you go, it's connected. <laughs> I used this unit for all the recording in this video, I've been enjoying the hell out of it, and I'll be enjoying it a hell of a lot more before I send it back to Shaw soon, because yes, it is just a loner. Big thank you to Shaw! That's a fucking testament to why you should have a screw-on cable if you're just a klutz like me. All the links you need to buy this unit are in the description, thank you very much to Shaw for sponsoring this video, now back to it. So, enough talk, let's not waste any more time, you're coming with me? 
and I'm a ram decent side now. Goodbye. These pickups sound amazing. They sound very open and wide, and that's kind of the point. That's the point of scatter winding them, as I believe that's what it's called. But at the same time, they don't sound too far off from the Nuno Betancourt sound that was in this guitar to begin with, and that's what I was hoping for, because I was really just replacing those pickups out of necessity. But yeah, the Sudetian Winters sound very wide open, and I just really enjoy that sound, especially like cranking an amp with these. Super fun. And now that I've desecrated a 1991 washburn, why stop here? Why not go for colorful pickup rings, a colorful switch tip, fucking Floyd Rose adjustment screws, these screws up here, just anything I can find. I don't want them to be high quality parts, obviously, like I'm gonna have standards for what I put on this thing, but I think that's what I'm going for, is just, you know, switching out all the black plastic parts for different colors and making this the ultimate Harlequin guitar. <laughs> Big thank you to Vermilion Pickups for the Sudetian Winters. This isn't sponsored by Vermilion. This video was sponsored by Shaw. But, you know, thank you for the pickups. Link in the description if you want your own. Uh, and, you know, all the Shaw links are in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my Patreon members. Their names are right here. Patreon is in the description. You get all of these benefits listed right here. Yes, if you like this video, then you can watch my most recent one somewhere up here. You can subscribe somewhere down there if you feel like it. All my socials are in the description. I'd appreciate it if you followed me on Instagram and TikTok. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, leave a comment. Goodbye.